stop for? The um, Ziba speciosa used to be called the Chlorisia speciosa. Um, and it, it's the it's a silk floss tree because it it's in the Malvaceae and it produces these big round balls and seeds within them are dispersed by silk floss. And so I believe that you know that silk floss tree and then you can joke about make all kinds of jokes about the thorns on its trunk because to me they look like a bunch of vaccines you know you, you hug it you get pricked by a jillion vaccines so it's a vaccine for tree huggers anyway stop yeah. five stop five and this is a, a baobab tree from uh, East Africa and or Madagascar. It's, uh, there's several, there's about 10 species in the genus that are from that area. This is the most, probably the most well known of them. But anyway, this is a tree, another example of an African tree with real big, thick features that Maybe just maybe are at least partly uh, co-evolved to protect it from those famous giant mammals that live there. And uh, but it's also an obvious storage uh, adaption to store nutrients and water. And here's an example of hurricanes what they do and this one's long forgotten because it occurred in 1960 and uh, but anyway it almost suggests the wind direction of that hurricane went well, its strongest is from the uh, slightly to the west of north I guess and uh, that was the wind direction when it was strong enough to blow these over. And, um, and golly, look, look at how it's turned into an interesting pair of trees here. The neat, these have really, really pretty gigantic flowers. And they're pollinated by like there's there's a couple several possibilities there uh small mammals bats and large sphinx moths they're they're very large white flowers the white would attract moths but they're very very sturdy so they can support the weight of larger animals like bats and small mammals and uh so this one is an example of one that has certain multiple pollinators, but um, look at all these, it's one of Trek's uh, 